We are given a cylinder that's rotating with a given angular velocity omega naught and it's kept in a corner. Both the surfaces of the corner are rough. We need to find how many turns it will go before it stops. Now the cylinder is not accelerating but it will have some angular deceleration. So we'll find that alpha from the torque equation and torque will be from both the surfaces because of the friction and once we have the value of alpha we can find out how many turns so how much angle it will turn before it stops and when we divide that by 2 pi we will get how many turns it will accomplish so let's do that let's draw the free boy diagram so one force will be normal from the wall now if that is n, frictional force will be kn upwards because it's rotating like uh, in the anti-clockwise direction, frictional force will be upwards and here frictional force will be towards left. Now there is no need to write uh, this normal reaction because we know that uh, there will be one force mg down and this f1 is up so normal reaction will be mg minus f1 or mg minus kn. So if that is the normal reaction, the frictional force will be k times mg minus kn. So I'm not writing because I don't, I, I wish to reduce variables as much as possible. So this is the F2. So we can see there is a term of n here in both F1 and F2. So even if we write the torque equation, we still will have one variable left that is n along with alpha. So we can balance forces in x direction and that way we can get the value of n. So let's write forces in x direction. So that is n is equal to kmg minus kn and then torque is equal to i alpha that gives kn plus k into mg minus kn times r is equal to mr square by 2 alpha. So this, I just put the brackets. So from here we get the value of alpha. Yeah, so basically just two variables, n and alpha. So as discussed, we got rid of n by this equation and we got the value of alpha. So now we'll calculate theta and divide that by two pi to get our answer. So because alpha is a constant, we can write our equation of motion. So when it stops, final omega is zero is equal to omega naught square minus two alpha theta. So this gives the value of theta to be omega naught square by two alpha and number of revolutions will be theta by two pi. So theta by two pi. And if we put the value of alpha here, we will get our answer. All right.